By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption sought to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so I thought. It did not bring salvation. With us the conviction of a true It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special aboard the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, oh God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. No, no, I'll call you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac, thank you. 
For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range there, Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? I'm going to call you back as soon as I can. Isaac! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. But I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> like hell indeed Jesus that was an intense scene and uh, that guy is dead and got turned into a slasher right in the front of your eyes and there's slasher behind me so oh this one right next to me and uh mache mache over here how do I should die there we go and uh, the game has finally begun so uh, yeah, this that space too. It doesn't look that much uh, different uh, that space one. Like Isaac looks a little bit. Isaac looks different. You speak. And uh, like, like I said, he has a voice this time. So um, yeah, and you and you, the way you save the game is still the same. You get you use these uh, save stations to save your game. So um, yeah. And also, the design of the wake is also a little bit uh, changed, but you'll see more of that uh, when I get my health back. And... Those guys are dead. Ew. And also this game introduced also some new special effects as well, like new blood deck decals. And of course, uh, new characters. Like that guy, uh, that guy uh, that tried to save us is called Franco, that he d but he got turned into a slasher very quickly in the game. So, yeah, there's already one character that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, my eye is looking much better today, yes, don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, no, no I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't... There. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but it put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like, but I can't remember what she The symbols, Strauss! What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault! I didn't kill him! They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this! <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's another uh, character we're gonna meet eventually. So uh, yeah. yeah, for now we can't really do anything because uh, we have, we have a straight jacket and our uh, and Isaac's arm are bound together. Also, that's the same guy we saw in the intro cutscene. So, but for some reason he killed himself because people are going crazy. Clark, Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. So, uh, yeah. And also, same with the first game, you have the target locator. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode uh, right here. So, um, yeah, I uh, should say uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. So, yeah, take care and. Bye-bye.